Whenever a coach is introduced in the NFL, this question comes up of, did he win the press conference? As if, maybe with the exception of Adam Gase with the Jets five years ago, looking at the ceiling, looking like he was on drugs, maybe with that being the exception, have many coaches actually lost the press conference? How often does that happen? But nonetheless, it's still a talking point whenever a coach is hired. And when Dave Canales met with the local media for the first time today, it wasn't just him that won the press conference. The Carolina Panthers, as an organization, emphatically won the press conference today. And here's why. Sure, Dave Canales showcased that energetic personality we've been hearing about over the last week. He's got the juice. He's excited. Oh, he's somebody who's handsome and young and, as WD's put it a few times, has swag. But does that win you football games? No. Do you know what does win you football games? Keeping a Giro Evero as your defensive coordinator, which was a pretty big news drop today when our guy, Joe Person from The Athletic, was asking, do you plan on the defensive staff remaining together? And his words were, yeah, that's a pretty big piece of the puzzle. And then Canales expanded on why he has so much respect for Ajiro. I just know it was really difficult on me for years, uh, whether it was in Seattle going against the Rams in that family um, or this year just going against EJ twice. So, And this is, this is really important for me, um, especially as a, as a first-time head coach who's like, I'm here to make sure we get our football right, especially on the offensive side, that we have that continuity um, with the players, with, with EJ, you know, just being able to have the mentality that I saw that was really challenging to play against. It's a pretty big feather in your cap when you get to sit down and talk about your vision for what the organization's going to be and winning on the field. Then you get to say, and then everybody gets the news from you, oh, yeah. The guy who had a top five defense this past year and interviewed for head coaching jobs, he's going to be on my staff and remain as the defensive coordinator. At that moment, from a football standpoint, Dave Canales won the press conference. And then you had some icing on it. The cake was there. This was the icing on the cake. GM Dan Morgan, also introduced today, he fed Panthers fans nostalgic catnip. What you're about to hear is just purely catnip from Dan Morgan talking about the types of players that they need and then referencing some of the greatest Panthers of all time. You know, we want players like Steve Smith, you know, play with a chip on your shoulder, no holds bar. He's not taking any prisoners. Uh, we need those type of guys. Instincts and tenacity of Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley, guys like that to can make plays. Uh, we need playmakers out there. We need competitors of J like Jake DeLome. Um, guys that they're going to compete in everything they do, and they're going to be pissed off, and they're not going to they're not going to stop until they win. Those are the type of guys we need. So it was this combination of new and Dave Canales, his energy and youth. It's exotic. It's new. It's interesting. It has you optimistic, and then. Dan Morgan comes in with the hard nose, keep pounding mantra, old school, referencing Panther greats, and it doesn't sound hokey because he played with many of those guys, and he himself is a Panther great. It's okay to admit, as a Panther fan, it's pretty freaking cool to see one of your great players in charge of personnel now as your general manager. And he referenced his dream was to recreate the playoff run that he experienced in 2003. He talked about the white towels waving in the 2003 home playoff game against the Dallas Cowboys. He wants to recreate that. And another reason that the Panthers won this press conference big today, David Tepper was willing to get out of the way. You know, with concerts. He spoke, I timed it, for two minutes. That's it. He was approached by reporters, just like he was last year when he met with reporters after the hire of Frank, Frank Reich for about 15, 20 minutes. And instead, according to the reporters in the room, he said, I'm not talking today. I'm in the background now. That's his quote. 
I'm in the background now. Let's hope that's true. The buzzword at the presser all day today was alignment. The coach is aligned with the GM. That clearly was not the case this past football season. Aligned with ownership. David Tapper seems to have gotten the message. Time for me to get out of the way. Let's see if he can resist the urge to meddle when football season gets nearer. But the Panthers, they won the press conference today. Not just Dave Canales, the organization did.